what a bundle is. She has some long, beautiful hair. And the hair has magic. So let's begin in our story. Once upon a time, there was a couple. They were expecting a baby. One day, the lady was looking out of her window at some lettuce. She had strong craving for lettuce. So she asked her husband to get some of those lettuce. The man said, that is the witch's garden. How can I go there? She will catch hold of me. Lady, the lady said, but well, I'll eat nothing at all. So the man went, got the lettuce and came back home. The lady enjoyed it very much. The other day, he had strong craving again for lettuce. So she asked her husband to get some more lettuce. The man said, it's too risky to go again. The lady said, but well, I'll die if I don't take lettuce. So the man went, got the lettuce. Just about he was going to leave, there came a voice. Ha, ha, ha. Why are you stealing my lettuce, you thief? The man said, my, my wife is having a baby. She wanted your lettuce. Oh, I thought I could just take some of your lettuce. The witch said, She's expecting a baby. The man said, Yes, I do anything you want. So the witch said, You can ask, you can take as many as lettuce you want, but you have to give me your first baby. The man said, How can I give my baby to you? The witch said, You have already promised me. But I'll put a spell over you. So the man went back crying home. He told his wife what happened. They started crying. After some time, they had a baby girl. That night, the witch came and took away the baby girl deep into the forest. She named her Rapunzel and she disguised herself as a woman. So Rapunzel grew into a beautiful girl. One day the king was passing by. So he heard a melodious song. He followed it. He saw the huge tower. He saw a lady coming, so he hid behind the bushes. The lady said, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Then Rapunzel let down her hair. The lady climbed up the hill. The other day, the prince came again and said, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Then Rapunzel let down her hair, thinking that was her mother. So the prince climbed up. As he was near the window, Rapunzel saw that it was not her mother. It was a man. She asked, who are you? The prince said, I am the prince of this kingdom. You are too beautiful to be locked up in this tower. I will trust to you. I will come the other day. So the man went down. The witch saw him coming down. He was, she was furious at this. She asked Rapunzel, who was that? Rapunzel replied, no one mother, no one. I saw him coming down and she took her real fork and cut down Rapunzel's hair. The magic disappeared. The other day when the prince came and said, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Then the witch let down Rapunzel's hair. The prince climbed up the hill. As he was near the window, he saw the witch was waiting for him and the witch pushed him down on some thorns. He, he hurt his eyes with some thorns. He could not see. The witch took Rapunzel away. He kept looking for Rapunzel. After some time, he heard a melodious song. He shouted, Rapunzel, is that really you? Is that you? Rapunzel said, yes, prince, it's me, it's me. They found each other. Asking prince, Prince condition, Rapunzel cried and 
the princess's tear fell into the prince's eyes. And then he could see again. He asked Rupunzel, will you marry me? And Rupunzel said yes. And they lived happily ever after. Bye friends, see you later.